Alright, everyone. What's going on? Phone clock here. Um, coming at you with a tutorial on how I do PC VR streaming. So, I'm on my second monitor because I don't need my, my first one. So, what you want to do is you want to get the virtual desktop streamer if you're using an Oculus Quest. If you're using a Rift S or any PC VR headset, then you probably would already know how, but this is for Quest users only. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put your Oculus username into here. So mine obviously is Deformed Clock, so if I type it in, Deformed Clock, save it, there's that. Um, this is the free version on the P this is this app here the virtual desktop streamer is free on PC it is I think $20 on the oculus store oh, let's go see oculus.com if we go to oculus I'm already signed in so if we go to the store or not the store products uh, apps and games here we go virtual desktop if we search that up I have it purchased already so I don't know if I can actually we'll find out if I can see the pricing um, it's twenty dollars for the Oculus for that so, you have to have the Oculus for the Virtual Desktop Streamer, and then also the app on your Oculus. Now, really quick here, I'm gonna grab my Oculus. I'll show you how things are supposed to look with the Virtual Desktop. I'm just gonna turn it on really quick. Okay, so when you are in your Quest menu here, you want to open up virtual desktop. Now I have to update mine, so it's going to take a second. Shouldn't take long. Um, with virtual desktop, you're able to play PC VR games, um, like Steam VR. Oculus VR is a bit buggy, so if you're wanting, wanting to do Oculus VR, either use a link cable or something along those lines, because I haven't gotten it to work yet. But I'll, I'll definitely try it again, and I'll update you guys if it works. So now we're just waiting for Virtual Desktop to install. Come on. It's right there. Everything is still good on my recording. Here we go. So if we open Virtual Desktop, you'll get to a page like this. I'm going to shut off the music for this part. So, obviously I'm facing the wrong way. So I have a custom, I have a background that I have, but if you start out with this background. Oops. This is the background you start out with. I personally, hold on. Personally, I like to use the computer room because it just allows you to do stuff easier. So, computers, I hit connect on my computer. Um, okay, this is my main monitor. monitor. So we switch, switch over, over to my second monitor. monitor. You'll, You'll see, see that, that I'm on my quest menu. menu. But, but we don't, don't need that, that right, right now. now. What, what we, we need is to start, start Steam VR. VR. So, so what we're going to do, do is we're going to go here. here. We're going to open up Steam. It's on my main monitor right now. Hold on. We're going to open up Steam and bring it over. So here, so here we, have, we Steam. have Steam. Right, right. Lovely. Lovely. So, so what, what you, you want, want to do is you want to open Steam VR. Now, now within, within the Oculus, Oculus when, when within your, your headset, headset, you can easily do, do it just, just like this. this. So, so if you watch, watch click my button, button you, can you can see this, this launch Steam VR. VR. Or, you or you can launch it through Steam. Either, Either or works. So I'll give you a second to do that. Now we are in the Steam VR landscape. Obviously, Obviously, we have, we have all of this. this. Now, now, if, if your, your quest is not connected to your PC, either, either your PC specs, specs do not make, make, uh, <laughs> meet, meet minimum, minimum specs, specs, or it's, it's just not going to work. work. Um, for, for instance, instance like, like if, if I click on Steam, Steam 
Here we are. This is my Steam menus, all that good, good stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. For the sake of the fact, I'm going to VR. Okay, okay. Here, we here we are. Again. Again. So now, so now take, take off your headset, headset. come over to your PC, PC. set your, your controller down so it doesn't mess with virtual desktop, come over to your PC. Then you're in Steam. Steam. Now, now, with, with Steam, Steam VR, it is a bit touchy, touchy on the way, way on how you set it up. For my, for myself, I just, I just have my virtual desktop, desktop streamer, I hit open, open VR, and it works. works. You, you can mess with your settings, settings here to, to, um, to see, see what, what you want, want um, for it. it. I, have I have mine setting to VR headset, headset and computer for audio streaming. streaming. You, you can, can just have it to be VR headset only. That it helps, helps me because, because of the fact, fact that when I do that, that I can actually hear the, 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 what's going on in the headset, headset and not, not just, just in my headphones. headphones. You, can you can get your videos and stuff here, uh, all of this. I have, I have a 70 Ti, you guys didn't know. know. So, so it is, it's, it's a, a low-end low -end headset, headset. Uh, not headset, but PC. I have a pretty low-end on the spectrum. But it still works. Now, for an example, I'm going to launch VR chat. Here it is. And Steam VR. So we click that, that go to go our headset. headset. And, and here we go. go. So, so we'll go, go to, to our, our headset. headset. Oh, oh, I need, I need a full, full screen. screen. Um, there, we there we go. go. And now, and now we, are we are loading, loading in to, to VR, VR chat, chat, as, as you can see there. there. Now, now we are, we are loading, loading into the game. It's going to take, take a second. second. Audio levels are good. good. That's good. So, so oh, oh I, I have, have two, two microphones on. Whoops. Okay, it's gonna be echoey for a little bit, but now I have just my virtual desktop microphone. Oh, also with this, um, here, let me just do this really quick. So with this, you can actually adjust your audio settings. Um, you can have it set to just your headset and your microphone to your headset, which is what I'm using now, which is why the mic quality is a lot better. Um, so if we are in VR chat, right? Obviously, you have all the goodies, um, like OVR, which I don't even have launched. Whoops. Hold on. Let me launch my toolkit. There we go. Alright. So with OVR, once it launches, we have the OVR advanced settings. No, as you can see down there, my little character is running. So with my left hand, you can do, like, you're dragging, you're space dragging like you see people in PCBR doing. So let me go to a mirror. So now that we are in a mirror, this is my avatar high. Um, this is an easiest avatar to show things off with. Um, but as I'm saying, as I was saying, you can even go into you can go into your little menu here, click on camera, stream camera, right? Then you have this handy dandy little camera that you can put in front of you for your convenience. Now, if I go to my PC and I open up my VR chat display here if i just click on game confirm so now you see me in vr chat with my little camera let's see now i can make my mouth move if i unmute but okay that's not the point of this the point of this is to show that pc vr is capable with your oculus quest 2. now i've gotten a lot of questions um from my stream from my stream chat and everything how do you do it it i literally just did it it was three simple steps um, you go to your Oculus, you go to your headset. I'm wearing the Oculus Quest 2 right now, obviously. Um, and then you basically just go through the setup. There is also another YouTube video on YouTube. I can't remember the the creator, but they have a very, very good, well-made tutorial on it. And quite honestly, it's one of the best tutorials I've ever seen. So with that, um, I hope you guys, I hope this helps a lot of people. I know a lot of people have had some issues trying to get SteamVR to work on your Oculus Quest 2, but don't worry. Um, with the new update that just came out for um, freaking, hold on, let me <laughs> let me turn off my OVR really quick. Hold on. There we go. Now with the new update to um, freaking virtual desktop that just came out, it is going to be a lot easier for people to um, play Steam VR in with your Oculus Quest 2. Um, with the setup, I am not wired in whatsoever. I did not connect my computer. I connect, did not connect to my computer once during this whole process of setup. Now, obviously, if I did the fresh, fresh install, you still don't have to. Okay, these hand trails are getting annoying. Um, you still don't have to. 
uh, because of the fact that with your headset, you just launch the app and then you type in your name and your PC VR in your um, virtual desktop streamer on PC. With all of that combined and all of that, sh it should work. Um, please just make sure your PC is up to spec. My PC gets tanked quite often whenever I'm playing VR chat, especially if I'm in the Black Hat or anywhere like that. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to join my Discord. Um, if you guys liked the tutorial and if it helped at all, please leave a like on the video, comment how it helped and if it did help you, or com oh, sorry, I didn't lock the camera, or comment saying um, can you make a different part two or something like that. Um, this video is going up on YouTube. Uh, for people who are following my Twitch, there will be a live stream later on tonight. Maybe, don't know quite yet. But I will be, be um, I'll be answering questions in my Discord server. Please join it. It's going to be down below. Um, but yeah, being a VR chat streamer is so much fun, and I just have a great time with it. If you guys want a tutorial on how to actually stream, um, even if you just want to use your Quest and not PC VR, I'll make another tutorial on that if you guys want it. Um, leave a like on the video. If this video hits 50 likes, I'll do, uh, I don't know. I don't know quite yet, but 50 likes, that would be great. Um, if you guys also want to see more, more of my content, make sure to hit that notification bell. Go follow me on Twitch. I'm most active on there. I've just started recently posting all of my VODs onto YouTube and highlighting them in my Twitch stream if people do not have YouTube, which I doubt it. But if you guys are here just from my YouTube channel, I am posting all of my live, live VODs, unedited, pure chaos. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, again, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!